Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Life in the Haim House. It's another day. Uh, in fact, today is the day that we are going to rotate uh, the plants that are in our greenhouse. So I'm gonna rotate them for a couple of reasons, mostly so that they keep growing. So in uh, the vlog that we posted over the weekend, uh, Amy and I had a chance to actually get our seedlings from the Jiffy uh, greenhouse kit trays into pots. They had sprouted. They were starting to touch the top of the um, uh, the top of the the covering, and uh, it was time to move them into our our greenhouse. And so we loaded up everything we had in the first two trays that we planted, which was mostly tomatoes, uh, broccoli, beets. Um, and then the whole variety of tomatoes, um, which is all up in here and over in here. So here's the, the, the problem I have though. Um, I need to do some rearranging in the garage so that these actually sit in sunlight. So right now I'm only getting sunlight into a few of the shelves here. Um, and so I'm rotating the trays every two days so that I'm, I'm giving a chance for everybody to get some sun a little bit. And I'm not in a place where I can put this outside. Um, we're still getting some kind of chillier nights and I don't wanna put them outside. And I don't have the space in the garage just yet to like make sure they all get enough um, sunlight. Uh, and I really don't wanna go spend a ton of money getting a bunch of you know UV grow lights. Um, these greenhouses have worked for me in the past. They're doing really well right now. And so I'm happy with how they are, are functioning. I just need to make sure everybody's getting sunlight. So uh, we were able to do these on Saturday or Sunday, I think it was. Sunday it was. And um, no, it was, I think it was Saturday. I rotated them on Monday. Um, and now it's Wednesday. And so I'm going to do them again. I'm going to rotate them again because I want to make sure everybody's getting enough sunlight and growing. Plus, I wanna check them and monitor them and see how they're doing. Uh, we do have two Jiffy trays down here with peas and lettuce. We're gonna take a little peek at them because uh, it's just about two weeks now that we did these. I believe it's two weeks now. Yeah, it should be almost two weeks of doing these. So we might be able to take the lids off and give them a little more sun. And if that's the case, they will probably go to the top shelf. And then I've got some seeds, seedlings here down at the bottom. I'm gonna rotate so they get some sun. And the guys who have been in the sun, I'm gonna drop them down to the lower levels. And hopefully everybody stays happy and keeps on growing. So let's jump in here and get this done. First thing I wanna do, is I'm gonna to check to see how the lettuce is and the peas and beans are doing. On our Facebook page, someone asked a question of how often do we water the plants um, when we get them started. We posted a picture of just the um, peat pots uh, that we had just put seeds in. And so the question was how often do we uh, water them? And so I gave them uh, a, an answer on Facebook, but here's, here's kind of why, why I do what I do, okay? so. What I like about these is for the first two weeks, you put your seeds in and you keep the tray closed. And as long as the tray, the lid is closed, look at all the condensation that builds up. So you start the pods with warm water and let them expand. You put your seeds in, you close them up, you cover them up, you let them sit for two weeks. This is two weeks. There is plenty of moisture and condensation in this tray. I don't need to open it, I don't need to water it, I don't need to do anything to it until I see that things are beginning to grow. And what I do is, uh, after about two weeks, they start to sprout, you can prop the lid open just a little bit, um, and then and you, you don't take the lid off until the seeds, I don't take the lids off until the seeds are touching the top of this. And I've got a few things in here that are going pretty well. There's still a few uh, pods that haven't quite sprouted yet. Um, they might still sprout. I can see a few things beginning to come up. This one's not ready to be propped open yet, but I'll see if you can look in there. You can see I've got green shoots popping up. You can see them through the, the, the water drops. So I'm gonna let this sit a little bit longer. I'm not gonna open this one yet, um, but the other one's a little better and I'll open that one. I am gonna take this 
and move it to the top shelf so they get a little bit more sun. So moving up the second one here. That was all the peas, snap peas, sugar peas, uh, green beans. These are the lettuces. And this is doing very well. I think I've got just one, one area that hasn't um, sprouted yet. And these aren't quite right. These I can lift open the lid. I'm not going to take the lid off. But look, if you can see in there. Mm, look at that. So we've got kale on the end. The spinach is popping. The leafy lettuce is popping. Cabbage is doing crazy. And I can't see what that last one is. I don't remember where I planted it on the last row. But those are doing very well. The only thing that's not coming up is the iceberg lettuce and I'm not surprised. I don't have very much success doing the head lettuce. Um, so I'll have to keep working on that one. So, but this one's doing good so far. All right, so on the bottom, we've got our very cherries. They're looking pretty good. Now what I like about this is when I water these, I use a spray bottle and I just spray everything heavily. But what I like to do is I like to keep them in these aluminum trays um, because as you, you water, I water sometimes from top or from bottom up. And so I'll put water in the bottom of, in the, bottom of the tray and they'll be able to, to absorb that water up through the, the bottom of the pots, which I think is a really great way of helping them grow a little better. Plus it gets the roots, you know, it's all that good stuff there. All right, so we need to move this one up. So let's do this. Let's open up this greenhouse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the top two shelves to lower shelves and then the lower shelves to the uppers. So I want to make sure the cherries get some sun, so they're probably going to go somewhere in this area here. And I'm going to move these guys somewhere below. So. Not really sure how I'm going to do this yet. I just know I need to rotate them. So um, let me play around with this for a few minutes here. Well, basically, I'm going, to, I'm going to move them based on how they're growing. The ones who are growing really well and have had the sun, I'm going to kick them down. I'm going to try to put the ones that are smaller up so they get the sun and get a little bit bigger. All right. So these are our beefsteak tomatoes. They've done really, really well. Some of them have one sprout, uh, one seedling. Some have two. I try to put two to three seeds in each pod, knowing that some will do better than others. And what I'll do is, depending on how they grow, we will thin them out. So they're generally always one or two that grow better than another one. And so we'll just kind of, we'll thin them out, replant what we need to replant, or just do away with what's not growing. But here you can see on these, I, I don't know if I can get them close enough, you can see them but they're already beginning to get their first leaves. So basically when they, when they pop, they're like, they have a kind of a long, narrow leaf, but then in the middle, like you might be able to see it on this one, they actually begin to get little leaves and that's what's starting to pop up now. So that is, that is pretty awesome. All right, they're on my top shelf. I'm gonna move them down here to my mid shelf. It is a little darker over here but it's also a rainy day right now, so it looks even darker outside. The sun's supposed to come out later on, and we will get some sun in here. But everything just looks dark right now because it's, it's kind of a cloudy, yucky day. All right, on this one, these are our very cherries and our beefsteak. So on this side, very cherry, and on the other side, our beef. So I'm gonna to try to keep the beef steaks together. That way, I don't, I don't, I don't put the wrong things in the wrong spot. Um, I got to get a little more, a few more of those tongue depressors, those popsicle sticks. Finish marking everything. All right. So we wanted to put the trays on the top. So we're gonna do that. The other thing I'll keep track of is as I watch the sprouts, the seedlings grow, they always gravitate towards where the sunlight is. And so as I watch them, um, I don't want them to get too far, too far bent over. 
And so I'll come in and I'll even rotate, I'll spin the trays so that they grow the opposite direction because they'll always kind of gravitate towards the sun and, and I wanna make sure they stay balanced. And so I'll turn them and rotate them. These, I believe, are our broccoli. You can see how well they're doing. And they're beginning to get some leaves. So that's exciting. Um, I like broccoli. Broccoli is a good... It's one of my faves. And... Really excited because these first five on this tray are beets. And they're actually looking pretty good at this point. So I'm happy with that. Now these are a little thin, so they probably won't be, I'll probably put them down on the third shelf um, so that they're still exposed to the light because they are still a little thin. All right, so that leaves these guys on the bottom. They're the ones I want to move up the most. So these very cherries are gonna get a couple days on this shelf. And then down here, we have this mix I don't think you can see them in the camera, but on my lowest shelf, we've got what's called a mixed gourmet slicing tomato. They're gonna be um, denser tomatoes, but they're gonna be kind of like different colors, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of orange, a little bit of red, um, some greens. Uh, some of them are gonna be round, some of them are gonna look more like a traditional Roma, Roma tomato. Uh, but they've been down on the bottom, so I definitely wanna move them up a little bit. So I'm gonna take my big daddies, and my Romas, I'm gonna bring them and slide them over into the other greenhouse. The Romas are looking good. Really happy with them. They're starting to get their first leaves. Excited about that. The Big Daddies are looking really good and they're getting their first leaves. So the Romas I'm excited about because last year we, we, we got a ton of Romas and I was actually able to make my own tomato sauce. And this year we wanna to do tomato sauce we want to do pizza sauce, and we want to do some salsa. So we really try to get a variety of tomatoes, but Romos will primarily be in the sauces. Um, and then hopefully the other tomatoes, will be able to cut them up, like the cherries, the lemon boys, uh, some of the big daddies. We'll, put, we'll dice them up nice and small. We'll put them into the salsa, which I'm really excited about. All right, so let's get these slicing tomatoes up. I'm just gonna bring them up one tray. That just gets them to a place where they're actually gonna get some sun. All right. And now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the, the tray of beets and of the uh, broccoli, the ones that were really thin, I'm gonna put them up here because I feel like they need to still be in this place here. And I'm gonna spin them. And the beets are gonna go towards the sun. I'm doing that because these are still pretty thin. I don't want to wilt them out. Whereas the beets are looking really good. Uh, I want them exposed, but I don't want to bake them, all right? And then lastly, again, the broccoli looking amazing. They'll sit down here on the bottom. They're not going to get very much sun for the next day or so. But as we continue to come out every day, every two days, uh, we will rotate as I think they need to be rotated. So, happy with where everything is, now to water. And uh, like I said, with the greenhouse trays, I don't worry about them, they have plenty of moisture inside of them, but these other ones, um, until I have them all in metal trays, which I will eventually get to that, right now we're not there, everybody gets sprayed down. And I like the greenhouses because not only do I just spray inside the plants, I spray inside the greenhouse to keep the greenhouse itself uh, moist and that moisture just kind of helps everything stay um, it doesn't dry out as quick so we'll just go ahead and spray everybody in here really well what I don't want to do is I don't want to weigh down the leaves and the, and the shoots because I don't want to I don't want to push them back down into the ground and so this provides the moisture uh, the watering um, and it doesn't put a lot of weight on the the plants. So I'm going to do this and we'll be just about done today. So 
So the other thing about the spray bottle is um, I'll come out and I will check on these pretty regularly. So they're not outside, they're not exposed to the heat, they're not in direct sunlight. They don't dry out as quick, but they do dry out. And so um, I'll just keep checking them throughout the day. Um, every day I'll just come out and give them a little finger touch to see just how wet the soil is. And um, I don't want to overwhelm them with water, but I don't want them drying out. And so the spray bottle allows me just to spritz and it's good. And then I can come out and add more if I need to add more. But everybody's looking really good. I'm really stoked. This might be one of the best starts to the seasons that I've ever had. There have been a couple of years where we've had great starts with seeds and our garden has done well. Uh, the last two years, last year, we started a bunch of seeds. Not very many of them took. Uh, once we start putting things in the ground, they just, they weren't taking. Um, cucumbers particularly. Uh, pickles was another uh, vegetable that we had to struggle with last year. We would get them started and they would just they would just die out. So we will begin our cucumbers and pickles uh, probably in about another week. So we're a little late behind, a little late to get those things started. But I've got some traveling to do and I don't want to start them and not be here. So, uh, but everything else looks great. We're going to continue to watch these and um, and keep them going, uh, and I'm super excited. My goal is to not have to buy any plants this year. Uh, last year we did have to buy plants, and that was kind of a bummer, because even some of those didn't take. Um, a couple of years ago we bought plants, and they did really well. We, the only thing I haven't started, I haven't gotten seeds for, is cauliflower. And that might be something I pick up as a plant, or I start doing that a little bit later. Like I might do that when I do the vegetables. Um, that's the only thing I kind of want to grow that I didn't bring uh, or didn't get anything yet. Uh, and our peppers. We haven't started our peppers yet. Uh, we've always had pretty good success with our peppers, and I'm hoping to have some more success this year. Um, and they usually take some type of variety of like jalapeno or, or super spicy type of a, uh, a pepper. And so I haven't picked that up yet this year, but we'll get to that. Um, but yeah, everything looks good. We're going to wrap it all up, be done. And I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you're checking in. I'm trying to get a vlog a day. We're not committing to daily vlogs yet, but I'm trying to increase the amount of vlogs that we get to you. Um, and since right now we are, we are way into our gardening and our chicken stuff, we're going to keep trying to share some of this progress that we're taking with our vegetables and with the chickens. In fact, uh, the chicks are now, uh, as of this coming Friday, they will be six weeks old and just about ready to, to merge in with the larger flock. Um, some are saying wait to eight to 12 weeks before you do that, but you can begin to introduce them at six weeks. So I do have them outside. They're in a pen directly uh, next to our chickens. So they are beginning to see each other. Um, and pretty soon I'll probably start maybe later this week letting them like run around together and we'll see how they do. And then we will begin thinking about merging the two, the, the chicks in with our chickens and we'll see how that goes. So stay tuned for that because that might be a fun video. All right, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, quick little vlog update. We're so close to 500 subscribers. We've been trying to get 500 subscribers for such a long time. And as of this morning, we were 496. We need four more subscribers. If you're watching the vlogs and you haven't subscribed, help us hit 500. Like that's a big milestone for us. Would you subscribe, become one of the last four? And uh, way back over in the last summer, we had said if we hit 500, we would do some type of a giveaway. I'm still willing to do that, but we've got to hit 500. So if you watch and you're not subscribed, subscribe. Help us get the 500, and then maybe I'll come back and say, hey, because we did it, I'm going to send something your way. Who knows? We'll see you. All right, I got to go. Got to get to work. Got to get these things closed up. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Later, guys.